You know what time it is. I've got a box. It's time to take a good old first impression look at the Masterpiece Movie Barricade. Now, isn't it just a bit weird that we're getting like Masterpiece figures like this? Like, you know, yeah, okay, it's a bit of a venerable, you know, 10 year, 10 plus year design now. And it's like, oh, oh, makes me feel old and certainly makes me realise that this shirt I found from 2007 doesn't fit properly anymore but yeah man what a thing what a, what a thing to even consider that we're getting all these masterpiece movie guys it's like yeah optimus and b is the first two they did it's like well of course they're gonna do them aren't they if they're gonna do any kind of big proper higher movie figures you're gonna do b and optimus aren't you but barricade and then einhide's the next one it's like where do we go from here jazz please yes ratchet as well but i can see why don't we barricade next because it's like well he's another licensed car man and Really, he's like the most sort of iconic new guy from the first film, isn't he? You know, the film came along and ushered in this little, not a very big wave, but a little wave of just fresh new characters, big old bad guys that are completely new to everyone, using names from old micromasters no one cares about. And Barricade was like, yeah, just instantly a really good character. And why has he not appeared in anything else? It's like, yeah, okay, it's certainly time to be getting a properly perfect perfect, I hope, figure of him now, but it's like, he made quite a big impression at the time, didn't he? I, I kind of felt like that. Him and Blackout are like, you know, they're cool new guys that instantly became really well regarded. I mean, when you think about it, really, you know, consider Barricade, Blackout, the new guys in the first film. It's like, really? It was a bit of a thing to think that first proper live action film, and they give these basically nobodies such screen prevalence and you know make them important to the story in some way you know blackout could be vortex couldn't he barricade could have been someone else it just feels really weird to think that those big new guys for the film seem to instantly turn to some sort of level of fan favorite characters just have not had that proper treatment, have they? That leads to blackout later in the year though, mate, mate. And why didn't they appear in anything else? You know, they could have had Barricade in animated, they could have had him in Prime, it would have been so good. And it's like, no, he gets like a little, there's, there's a cameo of a, a G1-ish Barricade in War for Cybertron, that's it. It's nothing, nothing. And he doesn't even turn up in another film until Dark of the Moon. It's like, so you get a whole four years of just him being this cool new guy that lots of people seem to like and he's gained no love at all. Now here we are at the apex of that kind of Barry Hill um, with the undeniably, you know, top end masterpiece one. You can't get better than this. Maybe you can, we'll find out I suppose. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is, you know, your perfect barricade. It says masterpiece on the box, so you know that they're not going to bother doing a better one. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack this open. I'm guessing, I'm going to say now, I'm guessing he's in robot mode in here because one end is heavier than the other, so I'm assuming his chest is situated around this end of the box. I was wrong! Isn't it a treat to actually get something packaged in vehicle mode? Oh, mate. Now that's a big, that's a big car, that's like, yeah, this is where the kind of masterpiece scale gets a bit weird for me, because it's like, you look at a car like this, and especially something like Barricade, that has only ever existed in like, deluxe figures, it feels weird for it to be this big, because it just feels like I'm holding the 2007 deluxe that's just like, half as big again. And then he's got the big claw thing that he goes soy 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 with or something else. Like half his dialogue isn't actual words, is it, in the film? It's just <laughs> swing, swing, swing. Okay, there's the car. Very nice, quite weighty. Will there be die cast? We shall find out, I suppose. Um I'm just instinctively grabbing this front bump bit here and assuming it will fold down and a little frenzy will come out. Oh, 2007. Wow, he even got number plate on there they've never bothered to give any of the other barricades a number plate so I, i've never realized that there should be one there or whether that's even the correct one that would be in the film i don't know to see things yeah it's it, it's all there you got you got the badges you got the light bar you got the numbers you got the to punish and enslave yeah just feels like um already the main gripe i think i'm going to have in this figure is shining through in this mode anything that i would think should be purple it's blue, even this badge, 
even that badge there, I've always thought that's purple, but on everything else that's been purple. No, it's blue. It's blue now. You've got to move the times, you've got to move on. You know, it's been a decade. Purple barricade is old. Blue barricade is a new thing. And then, what... What the hecko is... <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't... It's got like a... Like a stand? It makes it like some sort of weird Dyson product. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> like, what? I'm expected to put that on a stand when he doesn't use it and keep it there to look at like some death plant machine? Uh, I don't know. Um, mm, these bits are rub kind of rubbery, I want to say. It's softer plastic. It spins around! Washing machine tumbler of death. I guess we'll get on to that at some point. But now it's the fun bit, so you've got to transform it for the first time and, um, you know, I get to go through all of these instructions on camera for the first time and, and, you know, catch points where I swear to myself and then cut them out later. Giving them a quick glance, it, it totally just expects you to keep the whirly thing on this stand when he's not got it on his arm. What? I'm going to turn this into Sergeant Kabuki Man. Let's go. Well, it's feeling pretty classic barricade so far. Just the side to make his arms. Everything else is kind of wedged under here. Oh, now we get to do this bit. Ugh. What? Even the light bar splits apart like that. Oh, mate. Might have found the first chunk of die cast, lads. I think. I think this bit in his chest is metal. His instructions is like, morning angle. I wonder how many Hot Fuzz references I'll forget to work into this video. I can be your angle or your devil. Hey, just wangle about some of the more wanglier bits, and I think we are done. Oh, don't forget, don't forget the foot spikes. Don't forget them. So here we have the deeply weird robot that is a properly movie accurate barricade. Yeah, that's um, it's odd. Uh, making these arms, especially, is such a weird experience because like oh it's just, ugh, they're weird it just looks strange the way his elbows work and all this comes together and, and none of this really like clips and he hasn't got any wrists because there's so much going on to make his hands it's like that's a bit mental um but look at these mitts look at these big massive pinchy claws he's got coming off the actual wheels of the car the way that's all worked in properly blimey there's there's a, a lot here to take in engineering wise and then again there isn't really it isn't actually that complex it's not like there's loads of fiddly panels or anything like that it's just getting down the order of putting that car bit there to make it look a little bit more like this monster man um wow it's just <laughs> i mean when you look at like all the other barricade figures they're all like square around the middle aren't they because there's not a lot you can really do to break up that torso and everything but somehow most of the actual front of the car has disappeared and I'm not sure where it's gone. You know, I did that myself, but I don't know where it is. Uh, and you're left with this, you know, more broken up, exposed radiator and headlight combo ensemble chest plate here going on. There's, there's all like weird different joints in here for you to sort of move all this stuff around his neck about a bit more and like have him look a bit more hunch back and like sunken in like that or like pull his head out all the way which looks a bit odd um yeah oh and then you kind of get his chin stuck and then he ends up screaming at you because his mouth moves and I didn't mention this on the box but you know it says movable faceplate yeah um that second picture there what you've done is just broken his jaw um that's not supposed to really open that far I would have said um whatever yeah he's uh mm, yeah it's good it's good um his feet are a die cast down car with a nice kind of soft plastic bottom to them so they've got some good grip I suppose and all of these joints around his ankles like they go up and down they tilt and everything they feel really tight that's nice double jointy knees which is good with the click and the outy clickety stuff car as well he has got a waist in there um, but the way that all of the car mess at the back clips in kind of stops that. Seems silly, um, but of course they've sculpted the stand port on this panel back here, so they, you know, obviously saying, well that is his back and that's where it goes, and this will honestly support the weight of the entire figure if you decide to put it on a stand, of course it will. 
don't think so, mate. He's hefty. He's, he's a big boy. Just can't get over his arms, though. It's just weird. It's, it's massive stuff, like, all in the inside of his elbows. And, yeah, I don't know. It, it gives a good look. Gives him that really long-armed, almost kind of gorilla proportion thing that he's got going on. But at the expense of some articulation and at the expense of just kind of looking a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. I mean, definitely put some work into this lad. Um, I can kind of see, like, his, his eyes. Are they are they clear? It's hard to tell. They're really recessed. The red in there is, is quite hard to kind of get the gleam in the light. But nah, there's no light piping. Um, but yes, he can just sort of... Oh, uh, no, it's like, I just I only want to open his mouth a little bit, but it kind of clicks, and then his jaw is just broken in this never-ending scream and oh god thought though have you ever has anyone else ever thought about this am i the only person who looks at it like this but like barricade's face is like a kind of warped police badge you know the goal in there and that shape so it could be like one of those maverick cops it's like my face is my badge because literally his face is a badge so yeah, I've got to say, first impressions, having only just transformed it, not really posed it or messed with it very much at all. This robot mode is certainly a bit of a tour de force of just very good stuff, you know. Turning all of those much more, you know, the basic shapes you get from a, a deluxe figure that we all know from the old barricade toys of old and that, that aren't really that old, but are kind of quite old. Um, he's mostly just car bits and they try to spike him up and round him out and it's never really quite worked with this yeah that works you know there's a, a lot of deformation of all the car parts going on there especially in his chest the legs do a lot as well to not just be the back end of the car all this stuff kind of swiveling around and wrapping around his legs like that and yeah the arms are crazy oh, i can't i can't kind of get over how crazy they are um he's got big pointy hands it's it's a good barricade and yeah honestly i don't think you could really get much better they have pretty successfully worked in every feature design that i, I can kind of call to mind although maybe maybe like these shouldery bits you know look, looking at my shirt um they're a little bit off maybe what can you do you know the basic shapes are there the details are there it's all good apart from the colors um yeah, because, I mean, I know the shirt I'm wearing is kind of faded and old, um, but I'm pretty sure all the stuff that's blue, although it does kind of seem to be a, a pretty a pretty similar sort of colour on here, um, I've always thought all of this, anything here that is blue, was purple, you know? It's been purple on all of his other toys. I, I can't really seem to visually detect it on the screen for some reason, but... Yeah, it's just, why is it blue? Why is it blue? I have to assume that because they're working on these off of the actual ILM screen render character models that were in the actual film, that there's some credence for it. But it's like, it, all it takes, all it takes, and I've done this with photos before this came out, it was like, oh no, those are blue, I can't tell. Is it just the lighting? Are they purple? Is it just bad photography? Let's hue shift this and work it out. And I did. I took that stock picture that came out. It was kind of awkwardly posed and not particularly professionally lit. Um, and I just shifted the hue of the colours by the tiniest amount. The tiniest little tiny bit. And it was purple. All the blue suddenly turned to purple. The correct dark shade of purple. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe it is just a particular picture I'm looking at that isn't quite right. And what the colour will actually be is much different to that. But no, no, no. This is all dark blue. It's, it, it's, it's not even like navy blue. And, okay, thank God it isn't as bad as on some pictures, which did make it look a lot brighter. I was thinking, oh, is this like, why, why has he got like all spark blue on him? But it's not that bad. It just makes you think, ooh, well, where's that come from? What have they looked at? I'm not familiar with this colour palette. It's not entirely jiving with the kind of established uh, logic for how this guy looks in my head, but um, I have to say it's very, very nice. Shall we try and attach the weird spinny thing to his arm? Yes, let's. There we go. You basically just turn his arm back into car mode for the most part and just wedge this bit on a pole on the end. Um, yeah, not the most involved thing, but it works, you know, spins around. You can go and whack Bumblebee around the face with it, except I haven't got the NPM Bumblebee, and I'm kind of feeling like, yeah, th th there's mm, there's a hole in the collection now, because really, you know, 
I've got Optimus, and yes, he's like the big... I mean, really, if you were going to pick, let's, let's put it out in like casual terms, like what would be the best single only Transformers figure to get of the most iconic look of the most well-known character, it would be that masterpiece movie, Optimus Prime. Okay, right. So it's a huge centerpiece to any collection, let alone my one. Um, but then just having Barricade as well to go with him is like, well, yeah, uh, those two have never actually met on screen and they've never had a fight. And it feels like Barricade is very much a companion piece to be because it's like, yeah, let's face it. You know, like I said before, of course, the first two they were going to do were going to be B and Optimus. But then it's like, who comes next after that? Well, I suppose, you know, B's going to have someone to fight, so let's do Barricade, and yeah, just feels like um, now I'm kind of regretting not picking B up, because uh, while no two Masterpiece figures should really come as a pair when they're such expensive, high-end things, despite the fact they seem to market quite a few of them like that, I feel like this guy's only really complete when he's got a B to B up. But there we go. It's good. It's It's very... Very good, it's very, very good, I've got to say. Um, it may not be blowing my mind quite as much as the Optimus one was, but that's because that was shiny and it was big and it was full of metal. And while there is metal and stuff on this guy, the fact that he is, you know, obviously just dark colours and this kind of light devouring mass, um, yeah, shiny things are, are what I like better. If you want me to really like something, make it really shiny. And Barricade is never going to be really shiny, but what he is is really solid, really rather, yeah, rock solid, I can't really emphasise that enough, like all the joints and everything here feel quite amazing and when you consider that here's one of the more kind of kibbly movie designs, all this stuff up the top around his shoulders, um, he does just feel, oh, see ya, S see ya, rolly spike thing, um, that's literally just rolled across the room. Well, he's more of a, a, a kibbly, more involved kind of spiky boy from the movie, lads. Um, all of that is done really well here. and None of it feels like it's flimsy panel stuff. None of it feels like it's stuff that's just a bit weak, a bit like, oh, it's just mess. It's all just coherent and it's solid, good silhouette. What can I say? It's the best barricade figure you're probably ever going to see. Keep wanting to fiddle about and adjust these kickback wings he's got on here. And it's certainly the best one I've ever seen because I never got my hands on the Human Alliance one. I know there are people that are kind of comparing this to that and they'll be saying, Oh, isn't it just the Human Alliance one again? No, no sir. This is completely, completely just starting again from scratch, making a proper, very, very good new belly. Yeah, I, I gotta recommend it. Price is a little bit steep, I have to say. He doesn't quite maybe feel like 80 quid's worth of police boy. Um, I guess your particular mileage when it comes to the movie designs will vary, of course. For me, this is just something that I just had to have. You know, as soon as they uttered the words masterpiece movie barricade, it's like, well, son, put me down for one. I'm not going to back out of that. Nothing is probably ever going to dissuade me from the idea that that's something I need in my house. Well, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. You know, masterpiece movie barricade. What a thing. What a lad. A figure of just really incredible presence i want to say so will i go for ironhide next let's wait and see i guess <laughs>